gumballs. It's hotter out there than when Mark Ruffalo talks about climate change. Oh no, the illusion is ruined! I am so sorry. I, I uh, Miss Fernwinkler said I could come up here and get some water? Oh, well, don't worry. I'm not part of Galactic Gabby's Cheerbot Cheer Squad, so your secret identity is safe with me. Uh, what? <laughs> well, you're Atomic Anna, the superhero who can change her hair color and blow things up with her mind, and then there's Galactic Gabby and her Cheerbot Cheer Squad, and they've just been pummeling your castle with the pom-pom bombs and... Well, it doesn't sound very good for the castle. <laughs> Especially the foundation. You know, first layers are the most important. First layer of the atmosphere, first layer of your outfit, first layer of a relationship. <laughs> well, I mean, Atomic Anna has it all taken care of. She's got these uh, split Asias, um, and she has them set up all around the perimeter of her castle, and she can blow them up at will, so kind of like a defense. Split what? Split it. I, I'm sorry, I don't know why I'm talking about this. <laughs> um, balloons. That's actually uh, what I came back up here to get. Sounds kind of racist. No, no, it's, it's not. So you're an expert. I mean, well, I, I, mean, I... I've never heard of her. I bet she's from one of those new Disney shows or something. Oh, no, no, she's nothing like those characters. She's completely different. She's cool. Well, I respect your strangely intense devotion to her, but she's nothing like 90s Nickelodeon or anything. I mean, that was basically the cartoon renaissance. I mean, Doug was pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> like, cat dog? The wild thornberries? Um, hey Arnold? Mm -hmm. uh, angry beavers? Yeah. Rug rats? rats. I'm Brady. I'm uh, the creator, actually, of Atomic Anna and the uncle of the uh, real-life Anna. Um, my sister actually helped, uh, asked me to help out with the party today, so... Um, actually, speaking of the real-life Anna, there you go, kiddo. So you, you drew all of that? Yeah, you know, just aspiring to 90s Nick levels of awesome all day, every day. Uh, well, I guess really more like uh, Stan Lee meets Will Eisner levels of awesome, because she's a comic book character, and I'm a comic book creator, and they're comic book creators, and I'm really, really just rambling right now. I'm sorry, is there something I can get you? Uh, uh yeah, water. Water. I'm sorry. Uh... You know, Atomic Anna really is great. Cotton candy pink hair is definitely a bold but respectable choice. Although her fabric choices are brutal. God, I mean, the spandex just drops the sweat right in there. Although I have heard sweating can be good for you if you rehydrate. I had a friend once who sweated herself into a dress that was a size too small, and she reached her goal weight just in time for the party too. It must be nice to reach your goal weight, even if you have to sweat to get there. I mean... Not to be forward or anything, but you don't exactly look like you need to reach a goal weight. Well, everyone should have goals, don't you think? Nothing wrong with having something to shoot for. Ugh, speaking of shoot, we should probably get back out there. I got some bad guys to kill. Hey, but remember, Atomic Anna doesn't shoot, she explodes. <laughs> Watch out for those cheer bots, Brady! You too, Anna. Wait, how did you know my name? Um, I told you, I helped put this whole thing together. I'm the one who booked you. I mean, you do look exactly like her. I think it's your eyes. Are you saying I have superhero alien princess eyes? Well, yeah, they're... They're perfect, actually. <laughs>